Hi families and friends, it's Miss Erin OT. Thanks so much for joining me again today. This time we have two great activities centering around a wonderful animal, the turtle. Um, I'm going to go through them. Uh, the first one that we'll do is the craft and the second one will be the turtle tracing. So let's get started. All you need today um, will be uh, your paper plate, your turtle part cutouts, the tissue paper, some glue, and then a crayon um, or marker. So for our turtle craft, this will be the outside of the turtle shell, and this will be the inside. And we're actually gonna start here as the helper I like to provide a little visual guide for my friends um, where to place the glue for the parts of the turtle. So I'm going to mark where the head will go, where her arms will go, where her legs will go, and where her tail will go. And then, if you have the time, it's really nice to talk about the different parts of the turtle and relate them to um, your child's own body. So, oh, here's the turtle's head. Where's your head? And, you know, continue on with the turtle's arms, legs, and even their tail. Oh, they have a tail. Do we have a tail? No. Um, so just incorporating that body awareness um, is, is, is always a good thing. From here, if you want to pre-loosen your glue stick um, or your liquid glue, have your child uncap it and assist them if needed to turn up. And we avoid turning it up too far. We try to turn it up just a little bit. Okay, and we put glue on. We hold down with our helper hand. Boom, glue step glue down and then we will glue on our turtle parts and pieces there. Push and following that nice gluing sequence with glue, glue down, put on, push and gluing is great. We've got a Use our eyes and our hands together in a coordinated way. We're also trying to use both hands if possible. One stabilizing our materials, and one doing the action, the gluing. I'm always losing turtle parts here. That's kind of my problem. Um, put on. Well, as you can see, I am missing a leg, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. From here, I turn the shell over and I'm going to place on the eyes. And again, this is nice for talking about facial features, more body awareness, oh, and even counting. Same thing. Oh, how many eyes does the turtle have? One, two. How many eyes do you have? One, two. Counting. So put glue on, glue down, put on, push. Glue on, push. Again, that finger isolation um, or thumb or even using whole hand, but really trying to push. Okay, so once we're here, now we can use our tissue paper to decorate the turtle shell. And I like to take it out of the bag. You can put it in a, in a bowl or on a plate so it doesn't get away from um, us while we're working. And we can follow that same sequence of glue, take, and this is great um, because we're working on our pinch here, trying to pick up, push, 
same thing. And we'll continue that. Put on, push, until the whole turtle shell is covered or as much as your child has the, has the tolerance or attention for. But this could be similar to um, what might be your finished product. There you go. Okay, nice job, friends. And then from there, um, this is a great activity to practice some cleaning up too. So um, with the cap, you know, we turn down our glue stick, cap on, and if this is a little bit tricky, sometimes we put the cap on the table and then try to put the stick into the cap. That can be a little bit easier. Um, but cleaning up the tissue paper, this is a really um, great opportunity, again, to use our fingers and to help keep our workspace nice and neat. Okay. Now we're gonna go into our turtle tracing activity. And this is the packet that we're using um, that has been sent home with you. If you don't have this though, that's totally fine because all of these forms that are on here would be very simple um, for you as the helper to just make on regular plain paper and use little starting dots. I put turtles on there to go with our theme, but you know, little dots will work just fine. So for our friends, I would recommend trying a crayon, or if you have a smaller marker, or use whatever you've got. But we say little crayons for little hands, and that's to help encourage getting students to place their fingertips on the crayon. Um, this palmer grass, pole hand, is kind of where we often start, but we're working toward getting our fingertips on there. And then also the shorter crayon um, helps encourage holding close to the tip so the student has more control over the crayon. So here I say, oh, I see big lines down. And then we trace, we finger trace. We can also make those lines in the air first. And then we make them a lot of times together, you know, adult providing support is needed. Holding paper, boom, feeling the contact with the paper, line down, good job, boom. Big line down, boom, big line down. Now I was going pretty quickly there. Feel free to take your time. Um, also, I would encourage you to have your child feel the lines that they made after, especially if they're using crayon, because there is a sensory component, a little tactile piece. Now you can work your way over to the horizontal lines, the lines across, boom, big line across. Boom, big line across. From there, we're gonna combine those vertical and horizontal strokes um, with, the, with the cross or the T pattern. So we start, always start at the top with our vertical line. Down, jump, across. Boom, big line down, jump, across. So when we pick up our crayon, or our pencil or marker. Sometimes we'll cue jump, like a frog jump. And then on our last page, we have some circular forms. Um, so here we go, we're gonna start at the top. Boom, big curve down, big curve up. If your child uh, is really passionate about numbers or about letters, you can also talk about how the circle looks like letter O, and it looks like the number zero. Good. And from here too, I want to mention that if your child needs guiding support for all of these forms, that's fine. If you want to do some of the forms with them and then see if they can do a little bit on their own for some of the others, that's great too giving them a little opportunity to, 
to try it on their own and then also you can kind of get a sense of where they're at um, you know when they're working a little bit more independently so those are our turtle activities for this week thanks so much for joining me hope you have a lot of fun with these and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.